Hey geeks, it's Andrea. Today we are starting our second week in our first horror month. In case you're new here, we are doing 31 creepy countdowns in 31 days. Today we're going to go over some scary enemies that we've seen in video games. I'm sure most of us have run across some enemies that would make us jump up or give a shout, so be sure to tell us what video game monsters have given you nightmares. Alright geeks, let's go. Dead Space 2 Crawlers. If babies give you the creeps, crawlers are the enemies of your nightmares. They are reanimated dead infants with an explosive back. As if that isn't creepy enough, the heads are turned in the wrong direction on their body. In addition to this, their back legs are fused together to make their movement even more strange. Not only are they absolutely disturbing, but they can be very dangerous. Because of the exploding substance on their back, the player has to be aware of their distance while fighting these creatures. Left 4 Dead series, Witches. Left 4 Dead is a great game where you can pretty much kill most of the enemies pretty easily with a quick spray of bullets or a swipe with your melee weapon. When you hear the cries of a witch though, it's imperative that you stop shooting. Unless you like being scratched to death by a crazy witch. You have the options of silently moving around her, or my favorite thing to do from my Left 4 Dead 2 days, crowning the witch. You do this by walking up as close as you can to her, as quietly as you can, and taking a shotgun to her head. If you do it right, one pull of the trigger and she'll be down. But if you do it wrong... Three. Fatal Frame 2, Woman with a Broken Neck Fatal Frame is another great game where you have a camera obscura and exercise spirits with it. Okay, maybe that description was a little bit simple and sounded a bit ridiculous, but the concept really does work. In order to fight the ghosts, you have to take photos of the ghost with their face within the capture circle. Because her neck is broken and her head is turned in such an odd way, some players find it more difficult to attack her. On top of that, the way that they actually introduce the character is very well done. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I highly recommend playing through it. Resident Evil 4 Regenerators. Okay, maybe it's not the scariest game in existence, but Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games to play. Scary or not, there were some monsters in the game that gave players the creeps. One of the most terrifying and hardest to kill if you don't know what you're doing were the Regenerators. If you don't know how to kill them, it feels like these suckers won't ever die. Without the key component of killing them, it feels as if they're just a waste of ammo. Which isn't untrue at first, I suppose. P.T. Lisa. This one's a little sad for me because the game actually never came to be in existence, but the playable trailer was just so freaking amazing that we're counting it. You see Lisa a few times throughout the trailer through glimpses, but even when you can't see her, you just you feel like she's watching your every step. After the game's cancellation, we still find ourselves wanting answers. Who exactly is this Lisa and what does she want? Is she just toying with you while you spiral on your way down to hell or is she in some sick way asking for your help? Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever know. Alright geeks, that's gonna do it for this video. We have another creepy countdown coming tomorrow so be sure to stick with us through this horror month. It's our first time doing this and as stressful as it is to prepare for, I think we're gonna do it every year. Do us a favor and leave us a like and a comment. If you like what you saw here today, hit that subscribe button for me. Alright geeks, we'll see you tomorrow.